So, you've got no mates. Your girlfriend doesn't like windy, sandy beaches, but you want a picture of you windsurfing. What is the best way? What camera should you use? And where is the best setup? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I get shots like this. Yeah, some pretty tasty looking shots, and this was not possible only a few years ago, but with the setup I'm about to show you, it is definitely possible. Obviously, you've got to be able to do the moves and put yourself in those positions, but I tell you what, this setup is gonna help you massively. I've been asked so many times, Ben, what setup are you using to get that angle? Well, now I'm gonna show you. It is just literally this which you're gonna think, is that it? It looks miles away. Well, it's a 360 camera, more on that in a minute. It's just a, an extension bar and a fly mount. The fly mount has to be the best mount for action cameras going. You can put it on your boom, you can put it on your mast, and you can obviously put it where it is now. Um, with the 360 camera, this has opened up just the massive, massive sort of new shot repertoire i don't even think it's the right word but it's like it's opened up a whole lot of new shots and this is my favorite one at the moment which is this now obviously for the keen eye you'll be thinking ben i'm six foot five that's not going to work because when you tack it's probably going to hit you in the head and you are right this is probably more like my style a bit of a shorter person setup you can obviously put it up here on the loft tube i like it here on the mass because obviously you're going down the wave I can move it in, I can push it down, I can move it up out the way, or I can move it right round the other side, flip the rig, move it round. Now, this is not what this mount is designed to do. It's got rubber grommets which stop it, you know, make it sticky. So I haven't got it as tight as possible. If you've got it super tight and you've got this on full extension, you move it from here, you can have problems with the mount, obviously. So what you want to do is not have it too tight. Now, there'll be a few people saying, but Ben, what if it falls off? That is true. I haven't got a safety leash um, and that could be a problem. I have actually asked Insta360 to put a safety leash mount on the camera, which then you could run it down here and have it secured to the mast, which will be the problem. At the moment, there's no real way of having a safety from this camera that I can work out. But like I say, the shots, well, they are perfect. If you've never seen an Insta360 or a 360 camera, you've never seen the video and stuff that comes off it, I'm just gonna put it on the screen now because the amazing thing with an Insta360 camera is you do the shoot, you press go, you do your, your session, you come back, and then you can move the footage and the camera angle afterwards. So you can be looking forwards, you can then spin it around to look back, through the move, you can keyframe it so you can see different bits and different angles. And like I said, if you're not into video, you could just take a screen grab. And some of the screen grabs I've got from this, uh, particularly this angle, they just look amazing. They look like there's this little drone so close to you or someone, you know, with a pole in the water. It's just such a good shot and I can't recommend this setup. Now, disclosure, I was given this camera. I actually bought the, uh, I think it's called the One R Insta360. Do not buy that camera for windsurfing. When I sort of put that online, I actually made a video about it because I thought it was really good after the first couple of sessions. Since I've used it a lot, I've realized it's like two modular units or three modular units. And when you take a big wipeout or you get a lot of pressure of water, the camera does ingress water. It can't handle that pressure. Whereas this, which is the X2 or the One X2, I have had no problems and I have extensively tested this. I have been smashed at Tunnel, a heavy wave here, no problems at all. The battery life as well on this is amazing. So you get a big card, um, something over like 100 gig, I would always go big because then you never run out of you know, space, which is massive. I mean, a hundred odd gig on this um, and that battery. And it has been absolutely, like I say, really, really good. Um, and I can't, like I said, I can't recommend this enough. So if that is what you've been asking, that's the setup. This, I should say the extension pole. This is an Insta360 extension pole. If you buy, I think it's like the motorbike uh, package. You, you'll see on the website, I'll put a link below, but you can buy it and it's got two extension poles. Um, I obviously use this setup on a helmet Helmet, where I put the extension pole on the helmet, but because of this one, uh, sorry, X2, 
is, is a higher shape. You know, it's not a usual GoPro shape. This just, you don't need the extension pole on the helmet. You can just put the camera and it's kind of got its own lit of extension, you know, as well. So it looks like it's hovering above your head. Uh, and, you know, like for the guys who don't use Insta, well, 360 cameras, you'll notice this just disappears. It just disappears and you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is set this camera up so this is exactly in a straight line with the bracket and it will just get rid of everything below it. It's like magic. I'm not joking, it is magic. It's not cheap, the camera, it's definitely not cheap, but if you're into windsurfing, you wanna get pictures of yourself or you wanna just, like I said, if you're on your own, no one wants to film you, this is definitely the way forward. You don't have to put it here. I'm just gonna say, you definitely don't have to put it here, but I am really liking this angle. You can obviously put it on the boom, you can put it on here, put it up the mast. Uh, like I say, the helmet is also a good one. And obviously the harness mount, you've probably seen those before. But again, I find this one the least restricted. Obviously if you crash, this is not something you wanna hit. No, you don't. You definitely don't want to hit this. So, like I said, I'm not totally recommending this. I'm just being asked, so many people have asked me, what setup do you use? That is the setup I use. Uh, if you found that useful or you want me to go into more sort of stuff with cameras uh, and different angles we can do, I can definitely make more videos like this and go through a couple more angles. Or if you want just some more information about, you know, editing with 360 cameras and stuff, I am not the best. Uh, it is more faff than, a, you know, a GoPro. GoPro just films one way. You come in, you upload it, it's done. Whereas this, you come back and then you pick your view you want. So it's more hassle, but you've got more options and I'm definitely a big fan of this. It is really, uh, it's really created some really good stuff. Uh, so there you go. If you like that video, give us a thumbs up, like, stay tuned to the channel, lots more coming.